Hi, this is an ending spoiler for the movie Gangster Squad. I also have the spoiler written in the info section, so you can follow along. In 1948, post-World War II Los Angeles, gangster Mickey Cohen has become the most powerful figure in the California criminal underworld, and intends to continue to expand this criminal enterprise to Chicago and New York. The police have not been able to stop Cohen's ruthless rise, as Cohen has eliminated witnesses and bribed both the court and the police, controlling both illegal and legal sides of L.A. Determined to put a stop to Cohen, Chief Bill Parker, the head of Los Angeles Police Department, creates a secret police unit with the sole mission of stopping Cohen and bringing him to justice. Respected L.A. police officer and Parker's old-time friend, Sergeant John O'Mara is placed in charge of recruiting additional officers. With the help of his wife, Connie, he recruits Sergeant Jerry Wooters and Detectives Coleman Harris, Conway Keeler, Navidad Ramirez, and Max Kernard. Calling themselves the Gangster Squad, the unit begins the task of destroying Cohen's criminal operations. The unit's plans go well, and the unit strikes several successive blows at the heart of Cohen's criminal organization and manages to shut down a very lucrative wire gambling business. Cohen believes somebody has betrayed him and strikes out at those around him, including his girlfriend, Grace Faraday. Wooters has also been romancing Faraday and tries to help her escape from Cohen. Cohen discovers the police unit bugged his house and is able to lure the police into a trap in Los Angeles' Chinatown where Keeler is killed at the unit's operation. Faraday later witnesses Cohen's murder Wooter's friend, Jack Whalen, who was helping her escape. With Faraday willing to testify against Cohen, O'Mara, along with the remaining members of his unit, blackmails a crooked bribe judge to sign an arrest warrant for Cohen, then goes to the Park Plaza Hotel to arrest him. Cohen and his men engage in the gun battle with the police unit, with Wooters being wounded in the process. Cohen and his bodyguard, Carl Lennox, escape, but O'Mara pursues them, which results in their vehicle crashing into a fountain. Kenner manages to kill Lennox before he can shoot O'Mara. Cohen and O'Mara fight each other in a bare-knuckle boxing fight, while a crowd of onlookers and journalists gather. O'Mara finally beats Cohen and has him arrested, ending his reign as crime boss and the spread of the mafia in the Los Angeles area. The gangster squad was never mentioned in taking down Cohen, their surviving members remaining a secret. Cohen is sentenced to 25 to life in prison and soon dies while in prison. That's the ending.